well I'm all set up and rig wise I'll get, just get my foot off it <laughs> rig wise I have got again my, and I'm looking myself Jesus what's going on we'll start again I am using my wishbone rig there it is black and greens bit of pink bit of green bit of spoons and the ray the rig works I've got a terminal link at the uh, <coughs> line end splash down and then about I'm gonna guess two and a half foot to three foot the main body a kicker halfway down and the way it works is the wishbone comes up and you want the longest snoo to be on the splash down so let's get the longest snood from the wishbone which is that one you just hook it in and then the other hook goes on the on the kicker which is sliding by the way so I'm just going to do that tension it up so it's a bit sloppy at the moment tension it up like that and there it is nice and streamlined happy days and I do like a, uh, a wishbone as you may well know for you people that are regular tune in let's see what happens will it work today I'm out at my local beach you probably guessed it if you're local that's for sure by the monument where I am got bait left over from the weekend when I was at Branksome check out the video on the pier and I thought I'd go and have a little session with it northeasterly winds so it's on my back so hopefully I'll be getting some distance and the sea is flat calm so it's a small tide though a really small tide it's only 3.6 metre so it's pretty small so there ain't gonna be a lot of depth out there you probably see it's a bit overcasty and I've had some of the best place fishing in overcast weather so will it happen today won't it happen today I must admit predominantly where I am doesn't produce well for me but it does I know that others do well so there we go can we break that misfortune let's find out so my other rig I'm just using a two hook flapper with pink and white pop-ups floaty beads whatever you want to call them and uh, yeah nice and simple really to be fair that's all I'm gonna fish for got one rod out already what I didn't say is I've got a multiplier on I'm gonna I've been using fixed spool for a long time now and the last time I probably use a I don't know multiplier on the beach in anger is probably when the first Daiwa 7HT comes out the, so I'm, I'm reckon 25 is it 30 years now who knows since they first come out originally taken over from the 6HM and 6RM um, yeah so I'm gonna give it a go see if I can get into it if I can't that's it I'm gonna ditch it and go back to the fixed ball so one with fixed ball one with multiplier let's see how we got on I probably won't film me casting with a multiplier because I'll probably birds nest it as soon as I put the film on and I don't want to make myself look like a right numps do I so anyway let's get this one rigged up and fire it out right let's be honest for ourselves come on own up how many times have you done that in your lifetime didn't put it underneath the bow lump did I how frustrating is that the only good thing about it you can take the spool off flick the bow lump put it back on go on how many of you have done it I've done it loads of times all you get to get out there and don't do that so uh, let's put it back on eh well <coughs> it's been out a while let's see what comes of this that gripper's definitely gripping in that's for sure <coughs> for people that have not been to South Sea it's a shingle beach 
with sand out further out so your grip lead will grip in at points it feels nice to be back on the multiplier actually in some ways I'm just gonna have to master it that's the only thing I think it definitely feels nice a lot lighter reels as well Well, the bait's gone. Grab action, I suppose. Something. Better than nothing. Better than no life. Let's get it all rigged out again. And get it back out of there, eh? The worms I've got are fairly small, so I'm putting plenty on. And uh, where they're a few days old, they're still alive. But I'll put them in Fumiculite and it's toughened the skins up quite nicely, I just need to be fair. Which I think's helped. I wouldn't have said they last another day though, that's for sure. Definitely wouldn't last another day. I think that would be it. Out. Just took myself. I just want one place. One place off this beach. That's all I ask. What more can you ask for? Just one. I'd be over the moon with one. Well, managed one of those, and that is it so far. Anyway, let's get it back, eh? Let's get it back. Well, I've got a flatfish, but it's not what I was going for. But nevertheless, they are nice to see. It's a little flounder. Not very big, just over the size of the palm of my hand. But there we go. Just going to get it unhooked. And uh, there we go. A flounder. I wasn't expecting a flounder, that's for sure. But as I said, I'll take that all day long. Let's get it back anyway, to fight another day. We could do a load more of these in the arbor, to be fair. A load more. But the good old days. Anyway, let's get it back. Well, the flats keep coming, but it's still not the right one. Look at that. Little dab. Only size of my palm of my hand. Look at that. Cute little things, aren't they? And uh, yeah, it's just starting to get a bit dusky now. I don't show it in the camera, but it is. But I'll take that all day long. I'll dab off the beach. I'm quite happy with that, to be fair. And uh, anyway, let's get it back. Will we get that place? before it goes dark or before go have the hat trick then won't we brilliant happy days well that's me done and uh it was not as bad a few hours a little session actually didn't actually get what i wanted it to get which is a nice place but i did have a dab and i've had a flounder so it's not all too shabby and i'm more than happy and i feel like i've had a nice little session 
and uh, picked up a black bag on the way in, so that'd be going into the bin in the right place. And uh, yeah, happy days, more than happy with that. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget, give us a little touch of the old subscribe button if you haven't already done it, absolutely free. And uh, join me on to my next adventure, hopefully this weekend. Um, don't know if it's going to be beach or boat. Let's see.